Hello, I've been building this Glide app um, uh, and I've got another video on here and basically at the front interface I actually have defects and I have trades that need to repair those defects. So if I look up a defect um, through here like this particular one here, it's saying who's to actually um, repair that defect and if I click on that it will actually say what defects they have. So if I come down to the trades and click on this particular trade here they have a couple of defects that they need to repair. There's also some of their contact details and those are based on uh, the sheet on trades and the trades are listed down through there and the company. So I've just called, I've got a couple of plumbing companies, I've just called them Plumbing 1, Plumbing 2 and Carpentry 1, Carpentry 2 and they're sort of generic names here. I don't know if you'd need to do that on a project or whether you'd just do the naming directly. Um, I've just done something here. Um, there's the issues that come through here, who reported the issue, what date it was, and it actually has an item here, which is um, TRA1. Um, and in the switch, um, on a particular category, let's just go into this particular one here, and there's some carrots on the ground and they need to go and clean this. If they click on that button there, you will see that this item here comes up and says, yes, it's been fixed. Now, what we actually want, if somebody's on site and they've repaired something, they can just click on it. They can actually add a new note here and they can say, um, swept up. Who cares? They add a note onto this particular item and then that item has been fixed. What I'd now like to do is actually send an email through and actually just uh, identify that that part of the project's been um, done. So I'd like to send it through to a project manager and also whoever's in charge of the project um, from the company's point of view so that the company has a record that it's been um, fixed and also the project manager's got an, uh, an item that's been fixed. I just realised that we've actually got this note and it would be very useful to actually have this note come through as well as what the defect number is and what the issue is. So at the moment, when you actually go through, and I'm just going to use this first one here as an example, um, uh, as the email, because I've only set it up for that one, I'm just going to go in and just go into the defect here. I'm going to say, yes, Mr. Plumbing 1, uh, we fixed it. We'll wait a second and we'll see that this will change from a no to a yes. When we go back to the defects list, this has now changed to true. Now, if we go onto our little um, app script, we can see that look at J2, which is that particular cell J2. And if that cell, it says issue state, get that value, which is the J2. If the J2 is true, then send an email and we are now saying send an email to whoever is in Q2 and Q2 is now being given that value of email address so we take that and then we also then make a subject and a message basically taking out variables that we've got here so it's the issue item number the issue item title and also the issue item company now this is just sending the email to the project manager We'd also repeat this process and send one, or we could actually send it to, this one just does a single email address. Maybe we send um, another email address to the second person, which is what I also wanted to do. At this point in time, it's only sending it to here, and then we can also send it to here. So at this point in time, if I just go into my sent mail and I do a refresh, um, nothing happens. Uh, oh, I wonder if I've triggered that one off. Um, I'm not too sure why this sometimes does and sometimes doesn't. No, it's still not. Oh, there it is, and it's come through. So now if we look at that email, it just says defects list item has now been fixed. D001 toilet blocked. Then it says the item code has now been fixed by thing. And I think I'd also add whatever annotation. So there's a little notes column. If something's been fixed, you can write a note about it. And it would be nice to actually put that information also in the email, just so that if there's any comments or follow-ups that need to be done or something that needs just some extra information, um, that can be covered at that particular point in time. 
Um, it would also be, well, I suppose you've got the date of the email and it actually um, happens automatically. So you could either put the date or you've got the email date on it at that point in time. So um, I hope that's been of interest to you. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, can you please put a thumbs up for me? Thank you very much indeed.